that insulin spike you mentioned, um, that's that's just with the non-physiologic exogenous ketones, really? Or is that something we have to worry about when we're in on a ketogenic diet or a low-carb diet? Yeah, no, uh, like a ketone ester. So what we've shown is that in animal models and in humans, if you ingest, for example, um, like 30 grams of a ketone ester, you can quickly spike your blood blood ketone levels up to three or four, five millimolar. That could be beneficial in the context of like uh, an intense exercise or like if you're an elite athlete or a military diver going into, you know, dive operations. However, so if I was to do that in a fasted state, if I take a, a ketone ester and I consume it, uh, what happens is my ketone levels will shoot up to five millimolar in about 30 minutes. And then after about two hours, the body will metabolize and excrete some of the ketones. And after about two or three hours, you will be hypoketotic and also hypoglycemic. Uh, 